Okay, we are live. Okay. Hello, Dr. Sangita. How are you doing? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. I'm good too. Okay. So actually, many are really worried and anxious during this COVID-19 crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, we can see them, you know, like they're, when they post in the FB, LinkedIn, and social media. You can see everyone is a little anxious uh, in a way. Okay. It's, it's quite clear lah. Even sometimes when we talk, you know, with our spouses, with our family, we can see like people are actually anxious. Yes. We can when even when I uh, speak to my neighbors, mm -hmm. uh, we can see the anxiousness, right? Mm. Uh, so without a doubt, there is mental stress somewhat, uh, and we all handle it differently. Some people tell more jokes. Some people keep quiet. Uh, some people, you know, uh, they they all handle it differently. Differently, like. yes, yes. They manage things differently. Okay. Yeah. So today, mm -hmm. uh, just for all, thank you very much for coming in to this session. Thanks for uh, having me. It's a pleasure. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Sangita. And uh, let me just introduce you first before we go mm -hmm. further. Um, Dr. Sangita, she's an, actually an ardent advocate of mental health and actually has produced Malaysia's first mental health experiential conference. Yeah. Okay. She's also a member of the American Psychological Association, APA, and also a member of the Association of Psychological Educational Counselors of Asia Pacific. Uh, and she's also a licensed counselor. Yes, with Lembaga right? Counselor. Yes. With Lembaga Counselor, all right? So she's yes. qualified to speak today, all right? <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, so today she'll be sharing with us five tips to manage our mental health during this COVID-19 crisis. Over to you, Dr. Sangita. All right. Thank you so much for having me today. And hello, welcome. everyone. Again, hello. Uh, welcome. And I'm glad that you brought up this issue about mental health because it's been there, it's out there, but people don't really see it uh, yeah. because, you know, when, when they don't see what's happening inside, they think it's not valid, therefore, you know, it won't happen to them. So, nice. the five tips that I'm going to share for your mental well-being, okay. First and foremost, this is oh. what I say to every of my participants or anyone right. that I meet, nothing personal. Okay, okay. What, what do you mean by that? Okay, we have to understand that we are all different, all right? Okay. When we are different, the way we communicate, the way we listen, the way we do things are different. Okay, once, um, so when, for example, if now I'm communicating with you and we are both different in terms of personality, you might okay. say some words that for me, it doesn't make sense or for me, okay. it's quite rude. Okay. All right. So therefore, when we have this nothing personal uh, has our mantra, okay. it helps us to understand that it's from you. It's nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, Therefore, mm -hmm. I reduce the conflict between both of us. Okay. All right. And okay. therefore, I create or, or, or manage my mental wellness better. Okay. okay? So the mm -hmm. first thing you have to understand is nothing personal. Because okay. imagine if everyone say this and that and this and that. End mm -hmm. of the day, you put everything inside of you and it will burden you. Okay. You know? So okay. what you're saying is uh, people can say anything they want. They might be yeah. angry or they might be saying it in a sad way, but yes. it's just them. It's not you, right? Yes. Am I right? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. That is okay. where I'm going to go to the second. All right. Okay. Um, uh, tips will be three second pause. Mm. Okay, for example, if I get a reply or someone communicate to me negatively or, or say something that for me, it doesn't make sense, right? Okay. So the okay. three seconds pause is very important. Okay, why? Mm, because mm, first, mm. you need to reflect towards okay. that statement. Okay? okay. Secondly, you react to that statement. Whether do you want to react positively or you want to react negatively or you just want mm -hmm. to stay quiet. Okay, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. the reaction. Okay. So the three second pause is very important because it helps us to manage our emotion. All okay. right. And the way we respond to that statement. 
Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So mm-hmm. the first point is the three second rule, right? Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next uh, that I would like to share is socialize. You know, you okay. still can, okay. You can't go out and meet your friends because yeah. you know due to this MCO, but you still right. can socialize. You know, right. compare this era and our grandparents' era. There's no telephone. There's no internet. There's no video call. So you still mm. can socialize. I mean, there's mm-hmm. a lot of online platform. You know, WhatsApp. You can have group communication. You know, you can right. go crazy. You can go silly. You can do anything you want. Yeah. But the moment someone respond, remember the three second rule. Mm. You know, because mm-hmm. sometimes when you are too open and when yeah. um, you you just communicate, yeah, words might come out, and if right. that words trigger your own mental well being, then right. it's not. Then you see there's argument, there's anger, there's sadness, there's so many things. Right. So, still socialize. You know, call mm-hmm. your friends, your mm-hmm. family members, have video call that like how we are doing right now. Right, right. You know, there's a lot of things that's out there because okay. we are not we are not like a tree. You know, we can just be at one place. We need to branch out. We need to move, and we need to communicate. So yeah, socialize. Okay. All right. Um, the next tip uh, will be communication. Okay. Okay. Now, with a lot of information out there, right? Mm-hmm. Asking mm-hmm. us, um, you know, there's a lot of fake news and real yeah. news. Sometimes you don't know which one. Right. And there's a lot of disturbing images and disturbing yes. statements, videos, right. which right. is not suitable for younger kids. Right. Yes. All right. So, as an adult, whether you are a grandparent, your parent, or you are adult sibling, please refrain yourself from showing those images, those negative uh, video to the younger kids. Okay. All right, because they doesn't know um, how to react. They, okay. they you know, it's like monkey see, monkey do. Mm-hmm. They see what you do, and mm-hmm. then they will follow. Okay. Okay. Even though it's not from them, but Right. They observe and then they will do. Right. So it's okay. it's important to have a positive communication. All right. Um, be aware of your surrounding. Make sure they are around you. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know being at home can be a struggle. I'm going through it. It's like I can go yeah. nuts. Right. You know, have to do I it. Bet, and then when you're doing yeah, when you're doing work, you know, some then you look. Oh, that place need to be clean. And then while you're doing it. Right. And then yes, 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 yes. So, be aware of your surrounding. Right. Um, make sure that when you communicate with adult in a positive manner. Right. Okay. And now a lot of issues will arise. Okay. In uh, for instead, sibling bullying, spouse okay. bullying. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so we need to be aware how we communicate with our spouse, mm-hmm. how we communicate with our elderly, because right. most of the time we are out. Yes, you know, yes, we go yes. out and True. then that's we a, do that's our work and then we come back. Yes. yes. So for an elderly, for a grandparents mm. or grandparents, uh, I mean, uh, to be with you and your mm-hmm. kids, it's yeah. challenging for them. Oh, yeah. Right? And especially yeah. for those who are older, if yeah. you are at your laptop, they'll be thinking you're playing games. It's not work. Because yeah, for them, yeah. True. work means you go outside, you do work, yes. and then when you finish, you come back. So Very we much. need to educate them in the way we speak to them, the, uh, our tone, our language, our body language is very important. So be uh, mindful, all right, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. observe all this uh, non-verbal body language, all right? Okay. Okay. Then uh, sleep. sleep. Sleep is very important. Yeah. Okay. So people think, okay, I have this MCO, I can wake up late. No, 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 no. Right. You still need to wake up early. Mm. Okay. Oh okay. yeah, I'm 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 seeing some people do this. Uh, waking right. up later than normal, yeah. I yes, suppose yes. it's because of staying at home, right? Yeah. You know mm. that 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 emotion, that feeling like, oh I can wake up late, you know, it's my time, my meeting starts at 10, I can wake up at yeah. nine and all this stuff. Yes, okay. yes. Why you need to rise early and sleep early. Okay. Mm-hmm. The mm. best if you can sleep by 10 or 11 p.m. 
Right. Put aside your social media, put aside your phone, put aside your gadget because right. you will still receive information. Right. Okay. It can be good for you. It can be harmful to you right. on how you uh, articulate those information. Right. So if you sleep early, you put the, uh, the gadget aside and then mm-hmm. you wake up early and get enough sun. Okay. Mm. Sunlight is very important. Okay. Ah. Uh, I've been reading about getting enough sun and the best right. is to get it behind at your neck area okay interesting okay so don't put your face right yeah you don't put your face right exactly in the sunlight you know then you get tan and then you know for okay. ladies you'll be worried about pigmentation and all yes. so it's then always stress, to get right? behind yeah then more stress right so you just <laughs> put it behind stand like five minutes okay all right um let the sun uh touches your skin and then okay. You can do whatever, you know, while, while standing there, mm-hmm. you can take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. It's a uh, seven steps. That means one, two, three, four, five. You inhale five times. Right. And then you hold for two. And then you let go. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. So for five minutes, if you can just do that, it helps a lot. You got okay. what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, so enough okay. sunlight, get right. enough sleep, sleep, put your gadget away after 10, 11 p.m. All right, yeah. because it really, really helps you. Yeah, the time can just you know run. Uh, yes. You know, you know. Sometimes we got all the time now with the Netflix and everything. Uh, mm-hmm. We can just you can the time can just run. And today morning, I just put a post. Uh, yeah, it's Wednesday today. Uh, you know, just to remind ourselves, and you know, there are tons <laughs> of. Everyone's feeling the same. We are losing track of time. Yes. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think we have gone more than five tips. So okay. uh, another one that I like to share is exercise. Right. Okay. Take okay. the opportunity to exercise. Right. You can Google, you can YouTube uh, basic simple exercise. Right. All right. A minimum of 15 minutes if possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, while you are sitting down watching TV or, you know, doing house chores, you can right. do a simple exercise and that's important because right. we, um, the way we are structured, human structure is to move. That mm. is why we have all the joints, right? Right. So the joint is for you to move. So if you just sit not doing anything, you will mm. create more harm. Mm. So move yourself. You know, if you need to walk around the house, you need right. to go up and down, do it right. as right. long as you move, you exercise. Right. All right. Restrict, uh, what? Restricted movement only don't go out, okay? But you yeah. still can move in the house. Paham, paham. <laughs> boleh, paham boleh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Other things that you can do while you are, okay. Yeah. So, when you are going through all this um, negative self-talk inside, yes. right? Because right. there's a lot of individuals who have fear that they might lose job. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a big or, one. Yeah, finance especially, right? Yes, uh, yes. Pay cut and those daily wages. Yes. Okay, I I'm not sure how to say this, but yeah, it's easier to say than 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 to do. Yes. Okay? But yeah, remember your self worth. Hmm. Okay, that's very, very important. Remember mm. your self-worth. Mm. Because when you appreciate, when you know your self-worth, mm-hmm. okay, no matter what crisis comes to you, given to you, or obstacle you have to go through, mm-hmm. you will manage it better. Because mm. we have this. Right. We can do so many things that is different. We are a creative individual. Right, right, right. No matter which spectrum you are, you are... Right, right creative individual so right. remember your self-worth it's very important mm. at the same time learn new skill you see you mm. don't need to be an expert in one area okay, okay? Mm-hmm. but you need to understand things okay mm-hmm. unless you are a doctor you need to specialize or you know you're a lawyer you need to specialize and all that those professional but for those even for myself yes i'm a licensed counselor but at the same time, I learn a lot of things by myself, you know, through webinars, e-learning, right. 
communicating, reading, it's very important. And through there, you will link. Why right. I say this? Anything that you read and you view, mm -hmm. now when we communicate, we have a perspective. Then tomorrow, yes. if we revisit this video, right. it will be another perspective. It changes. Yeah. So yep. when it changes, then you will understand, okay, I think this is what it meant. This is what my self-worth, this is how I can get things better. You know, mm -hmm. remember your self-worth. Right. Yeah. Okay. So is, this is a good, this is a good uh, point you raise, you know, self-worth. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people are just like, uh, people can get down, you know, especially after a downtime or after you just hurt, you just lost a job. Yeah. You know, and then, uh, or you're going to lose a job, right? Or your business is, you know, looking very bleak and you don't know how to, uh, you know, cope up, how you can cope up. Yeah. I, I know there's no one answer for this. No. Uh, but what can they, like, uh, do to start feeling a little uh, better about their self-worth? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what you can do is have a journal. Okay. All right. So write down things that you like and write mm -hmm. down things that you don't like. Mm. Okay. 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 What I ask most of my participants to do is this question, who am I? It's a simple who question. Who am I? Okay. Yeah. Who am I? All right. Mm. It's a simple question, right. but it's very difficult. Mm. It's very difficult. During my counseling years, during my, my studies, right? So we yeah. have this question, who am I? So we always put in like, oh, I'm a daughter-in-law. I'm a daughter. I'm a wife. I'm a, a mother. You know, I'm a, right. a staff or something like that. Right. But it's all based on roles and position. It does yes. not define you. Mm. You know? Okay. Yeah. So it's easy. Okay, what do I do? Oh, I'm a licensed counselor. Right. But uh, yeah. deep inside, there's a lot of things that it's not being surfaced because we have been compressed. Our All our ability has been like locked down and we are just on the surface where, okay, this is my role I need to do. It's like auto. We are function right. on the auto movement, right? Mm -hmm. so the question is easy. Who am I? But the answer mm -hmm. is very difficult. So take your time to... Mm -hmm reflect mm -hmm. react right. and reaction you know because mm, what very write, interesting yes what you write today okay now after yeah. one hour yeah. you go back to the question it will be a different answer so keep on writing and then you see the similarities you match it and mm -hmm. look at it and then you evaluate is this really me mm -hmm. okay so it is not just like I am this job, or I'm this business no. owner, or it's I am... all replaceable. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's all replaceable. Yeah, position, okay. it's all replaceable. Nothing is permanent, but you, your self-worth, who are you is important because once you know that, it's easy for you to go and do anything that you want because nothing right. will stop you. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. I, mean, I think it's very common for people to... Uh, to you know identify with the job or a title or a father or mm -hmm. the mother uh, or I'm a grandmother uh, yeah kids yeah. I think for kids they are a little bit more fluid so they don't really like have any identification so if you ask these kind of questions uh, yeah yeah they don't have something to say about it yeah yeah it's interesting I think Not you got to miss come there also <laughs> 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 yeah, so I think an exercise I got to do myself. Mm. Okay, okay. So, okay, yeah. Um, you have shared some very good points, okay. And, uh, <clears throat> okay, there's a question from one of our viewers, okay. right? The question is, for someone who likes to do things with friends and even have meals with friends, uh, how do you keep sane? Feeling isolated can be really uh, overwhelming. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. So, one thing that I can share is mm -hmm. socialize. Mm 
virtually. Okay. Virtually. Virtually. All right. Mm-hmm. So you have, mm-hmm. you invite your friends. Okay. Right. Set a date. Have your meal, and they have their meal, and then right. you talk and communicate. You create that environment. If you can't be right. there, you create that environment. Right. You know, because so, I'm a social being also. Right. I like to go out. I like to express yeah. with people. And now confined is like, oh my goodness. You know, there's yeah. no face-to-face <laughs> communication. It's quite true, a challenge. True, true, true. So what true. I do is, yes, have a few friends. All right. Yeah. Have meal together. So you allocate that time. So mm-hmm. you need to tell to those living with you that this is my time. I need this, right. so please, if possible, don't disturb me. You know, right. give me space. And the same thing, you need to give them that space also. Yeah. So it's re- you. You are respecting both ways. It's not just right. I need my time, but when you need your time, I don't give it to you. You know. So this can be right. one of it. All right. Right. And right. just explore. Right. Yeah. In, in fact, in fact, you know, just the other day in another chat we had mm-hmm. in a Zoom uh, conference, mm-hmm. uh, one of the participants, uh, she shared about like that a family, they are all in different places, okay, mm-hmm. different locations geographically. So they are, they are, you know, in different countries and all. So like um, for her mom, she's like, you know, sometimes she feels like lonely. So mm-hmm. they have actually this chat, like you suggested, you know, each one having their meal and they're having uh-huh. the laptop. So yeah. then, then they share and they talk, you know, while having food, yes. you know, together. They yeah. are actually having food together versus like, you know, you are, you are alone. And yeah. I suppose food, food is a good connector. Yes. Mm. Yeah. You create the environment that you want. Yeah. Try yes. something different. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, another one, right? Is here another question mm-hmm. is uh, why is mental health still a stigma, mm-hmm. and why people don't seek help? Yeah. Okay, all right. That's a very good question, also, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I've been, you know, going out, creating awareness, giving talks about mental health. Why right. is still a stigma? Because we have yet to accept that mental illness or mental health challenges is not something that is contagious. Mm-hmm. All right? That okay. is one. Secondly, mm-hmm. we are in the culture where we are in the environment where we are so into our culture. So if mm. anything happens, we go and meet the shaman, the priest, the bomo, yes. and all that. So that's our first yeah. because of our faith and our religion have brought yeah. us up in that right. environment. Okay. All right. okay. Okay. You know all this like pantang larang, what you yes. can do, what you cannot do. So we are still in that mode. Right. Okay. 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 Thirdly, you see, our parents they are not aware. Okay, not really aware. They are not educated in mm-hmm. in mental health. Okay. No one talk about emotion at, in school. No one okay. being taught about emotions in school. You right. know. Right. So you don't know that. Okay. When, when someone feels depressed, they just want to sleep, they want to stay. Yes. There's something wrong. For, for them, it's you're lazy. Come out, do work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they are not educated. They are not uh, being educated about mental health. And, so, right. and it goes to their parents. Right. So when it comes to us, right. we are not ed- even educated in mental health, right? Yes. Only lately it's being out. So yes. it will take some time. Okay, people right. always say that, oh, okay, you are fine, you know, nothing wrong with you. But actually, yeah. it's not. Okay, I'm going to ask this question. So, yeah. I want you to answer. Yeah. Okay, if, if you fall down and you yeah. break your arm, who do right. you go to? Uh, a doctor. Good, right? Hmm. All right. So, when you are broken inside, who do you right. go to? First of all, I think a lot of us won't even know we are broken inside. Yes, yes. Yeah? So what I'm trying to say is, if yeah. you broke an arm, you go and right. see a doctor. A doctor, yeah. It's, right? It's so when you go and see a doctor, like... yes, it's physical. I can see, therefore, it's valid and it's there, so I treat it. Yeah. But if I keep on isolate myself, I keep on yeah. want to be alone, I don't want to mix with people. Right. So people tend to tell you, you know, Antisocial, introvert, doesn't want to mix with people and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right? And they said, um, 
you must pray you need to look at things and all yeah. but there's it only a certain level after that yeah. you need to go and seek professional help mm. another thing that i would like to uh, share with everyone don't ever use religion right you know because right. you don't say that oh you're not praying therefore you have this mental yeah. illness you know you're mm. not doing the proper culture way therefore you get this right because right the right, moment right you think that you are imposing yeah. power and make you know it gives you like oh, i know better than you right I'm more saint than you no mm. Mm. you can assist them right all right like let's go let's let's pray together don't no, let's do stuff together yeah but you don't say that you're not doing this you're not doing this therefore you're mm. getting this illness we don't do that and they feel worse about themselves after that yes yes mm. so Um, I'm in this group where um, this individual talk about uh, in in this uh, mental illness group, yeah? yeah. So this individual talk about the challenges that she's going, and yeah. someone put up a post about this religious uh, statement. Right. Immediately, this individual who who was venting out, yeah, go out from the group. So you see, sometimes you do it in the right intention, but yeah, doesn't bring good. It bring more harm. Right. You right. need to understand that. Yeah. Right, right. And sometimes they just need to vent out a little bit, right? Just to yes. share the feelings. Yes, yes. Right. And then just hear them out, and then sometimes it works out well, or at least it calms people down enough to you know think a little bit more rationally, lah. I suppose. Yeah. That is why the three second pause is important, and nothing right. personal is important. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the nothing personal thing is quite interesting because, like, yeah. uh, uh, we can react very fast when someone says something, or uh, you yes. know, both in both ways. You know, even you laugh or you can cry or get angry. You know, yes, uh, you can react very fast. But if you do this in the three seconds or perhaps even longer, uh, you can oh, see yourself. If you, take, right? if you if you if you take longer seconds, then yeah. your mind start talking even more. Again. So yes, the three so seconds is three seconds should be enough. enough. Yeah, ah, should be enough. Okay, okay. Don't go more. Then you start to think more, and then you will you analyze more, and then you will evaluate <laughs> more. Then it end of the day is nothing. As long as it doesn't take twenty four hours lah before replying, oh. right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, okay, another question. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, is how to educate people on mental health? Uh, this is very interesting. Okay, uh, by Anan. And especially to people who are older and come from a different generation. Okay. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Okay, so let me just start with this, yeah. Uh, okay. To Anand and to all of you. Yeah. Okay. What is your personal perspective on mental health? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Because if you can educate to mm-hmm. people on mental health, but if you yourself don't believe, and mm-hmm. if Your the, yourself don't practice, then there's no point because people can see whether you are an advocate of mental health or you are not. You are just saying it. Right. All right? right, that is one. Okay. So right. look deeper and your own perspective on mental health. Okay, okay. Okay. The second one, um, especially people who are elderly. Okay. Right. So you see, when see elderly. It's difficult for them to change, okay. Right. It's yeah. difficult for them to change because they have their mind has set so long into this routine and this belief. For you to change it is very difficult. Yeah. So what you True. can do is you change your own approach, mm. strategize it differently. Okay, mm-hmm. your action needs to be different because mm-hmm. when they see and they observe. Mm-hmm. And then it's easier for them to adapt, right? Ah, uh, you know, like most of the talk that I go and I share about mental health and all that, people ask, "How do we educate people? How do we educate people?" You need to look deeper. Mm. Okay? Your perspective on mental health, and right. how can you assist later on? Okay, okay. we are okay. not here to change people. People, um, uh, public always say that okay, counseling is about. Telling you what to do, you know, right, you must right. do this, you must do that. No, it's about guiding. Right. We don't give you the answer because you have the answer. Mm. You know, 
the answer coming from a therapist, the question coming from therapist will be different than question coming from your friend. Because right. if coming from a friend, there's an emotion attachment. Yes, yes, yes. Coming from a therapist, a professional, it's right. different attachment. Right. You know, towards your well-being. Your friend right. will say yes, you know, yes this, yes that, and will support you, which is yeah. good. But right. sometimes it will lead mm. to negative, right. you know, action, right. emotion, and, and thoughts. So coming mm. from the therapist, it will lead mm. you to, you know, you will go through a, a roller coaster emotion. You know, you will cry, you will, you mm. will feel so sad. And those emotions are valid. You right. know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Mm. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's see if there are any other questions. How do people uh, come out of their shells and be open to others on what they are going through right now? Because, yeah, that's a good question, actually. Uh, the question okay. is because, like, because uh, sometimes people don't really share or sometimes yeah. they don't want to share anything, you know, what's going on. How do they? Uh, first of all, know that they're having, uh, you know, mental stress, mm -hmm. and how how can they come out of their shells and be okay. open to others? Okay. Okay. Firstly, you mm -hmm. need to understand who can you trust and mm -hmm. who can you communicate. Okay. And that's very important, right? All right. Okay. All right. Because. If I'm not mistaken, I, I forget mm -hmm. what's the percentage, but it's more than 60% of people who go through mental health challenges will right. lose friends. Will lose friends. Yeah, more than 60% will lose friends. Okay. All right? Okay. okay. All right. So, um, therefore, when you want to come out from your shell, mm -hmm. the best way for you to vent out, for you to go through a journey, a therapeutic journey is with, mental health practitioner right. you know that we have be, uh, befrienders talian kase sneha buddhist association telecounseling right. so you go through that first because right. for you you just open up and say everything that person right. might not be prepared to listen right. or they don't know how to react and respond right right you know and you have an expectation that means if okay. i share this to you right there will be expectation right okay? and we don't know what's the response from that party from a friend or a family so the okay. best way is to reach out all right that, that's another tagline no speak out okay. uh, reach out speak out okay right so, right uh, reach out to all these telecounseling uh, okay out there practitioner right. that can assist you and then when you are ready right and then you can share with your friends uh, with your family. So that's a better approach than you just tell them with an expectation and you don't know how would they react and respond. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah interesting. Mm -hmm. So that means you're saying that uh, it's good to have help mm -hmm. from, uh, for example, telecounseling. Yes. Right? So some of the uh, associations you mentioned just now was like Sneha, S N E. Sneha. Yeah. Sneham is uh, for Tamil speaking. Right. Okay. Sneham. Yeah. Yes. S N E H A M. And then okay. you have Befrienders. They are doing an awesome, awesome job also. Okay. Then you have Buddhist Association. So if you are right. in Mandarin speaking, Hokkien, Man, uh, Cantonese, right. and all that, you can. They, they also have in English and Bahasa. All right. 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 You have BKL Tele Counseling. Then you have Talia Noor. Talia Noor, yeah. It's another yes. one. Yes. one right? Yeah. So, you know, you can reach out, you can Google all these uh, sites, you know, right. to, to seek telecounseling. That's out there. Right, yeah. right, right. Very so interesting. You come up, yeah, I want to come up from your shell, seek out to professional first. Right. Before you are strong enough and ready to share this with your friends, your colleagues, right. or with anyone close to you. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, just, just to, you know, uh, add in a little bit from there, right? So, mm -hmm. when you call someone in this area, right? Just because sometimes people might be even afraid to call uh, them, uh, yeah. these professional uh, counselors. Um, what can they expect when they call in to a counselor? Uh, example like Sneham or Talian No. 
right? Okay. When they call in, how do they get started? And you know, how do they share their problems? Okay, so first and foremost, it's always PNC. Confidentiality okay. is the utmost. Okay. All right. And if you don't want to tell your real name, it's fine. You know, you can okay. just create a name of being anonymous and all. All right. Okay. All right. So you can just start a conversation saying, uh, expressing to them how you feel, what's your emotion, mm -hmm. what's running right. in your mind. And the question that they ask mm -hmm. will provoke you to give more answers, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and towards that journey. Okay. So it all depends on individual. Some of them right. find, okay, you know, I don't want to waste my time. So you right. need time. Some of right. them feel that they can connect immediately. Right. You know, some of them feel that, okay, uh, they cannot uh, relate or, or build that relationship to that yeah. caller. But there's also a right. uh, few other helpers will be there, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah. So, you, so that you means if, if you don't connect with A, then you could also connect with B or C yes. and they will guide yes. you along the process. Lah. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome, awesome. So that means uh, they, you will be guided along when you call into any one of these lines. Yeah, so they have different approach. So it depends, you know, based on their SOP, how they're going to run it, what therapy style they are using. So it's based on individual association right. or telecounseling uh, right, center. Right. Yeah. yeah, awesome. You know, today morning, I was just having another chat mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Suhu. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. From MapTech, right? Yeah, I yeah, think you know yeah. him, right? Guys, so yeah. he was sharing about the initiative by MapTech, the group, uh, their uh, MapTech group. They are actually yeah. having a, a, a call number where the mm -hmm. frontliners out there who are very stressed up and all can call in to yes. get support, you know, to get counseling, right? Mm -hmm. And he was mentioning that they, they get, you know, more than 100 calls a day mm -hmm. uh, on this. And so they are doing some, you know, really good work there to support at least, at least yeah. to be someone who can hear them out. Yes, yes. That's okay. a good initiative, yes. Yeah, great, great initiative there by MapTech. Uh, okay, we have another question. Mm -hmm. For someone whose job is on the line due to crisis and the lack of funds to support your loved ones, how do you overcome such a heavy burden, losing your self-worth and respect? All right. Mm. Yeah, this is quite heavy. Yeah, I know. I know. Right. This is not an easy one. Yeah. Not an easy one. Okay. Yeah. So, um, there's a lot of ways that uh, we can do in terms right. of uh, going into a journey. So we okay. talk, and if you're going to ask me this question, I'm just going to give you a general answer, yeah, you know, yeah, a general yeah. uh, practice. But yeah. you really need to meet and um, or, or call this mental health practitioner, this frontliner, yes. Yes. and they will guide you into a direction where you will see your self-worth. You know, and mm, you will feel mm. respect. Okay, right, right. you're gonna ask me like this. I need to put you I into know. a session, and then we need to go in our one-to-one. -one, um, yes, uh, yes, session. yes. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Because this yeah, is a very right? big question, and yes. it, and everyone is different, right? Yes. Every individual has a different situation. And all. Yes, yes. That is why, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. it's good for you to write down. Uh, right. Uh, who am I? Okay. It's a very, very important question you need to ask yourself. You know, mm -hmm. easy question, but once you write it down, you look at it, it's right. difficult for you to come up for, that, for an answer immediately. All yeah. right. So when you look at that, you write mm -hmm. everything that you write, you see the similarities, and right. then you map it, then right. you check it. All right. Mm -hmm. Because then you see your self worth. All right. And okay. most importantly, I know it's always easy said than done. I mean, I've yeah. gone through a yeah. lot, a lot, sure. you know, during mm. my counseling era where, where we are still a, a student and intern, mm. Mm. we've gone through so much until we like, it really helps us to who we are today. All right. Mm. And when mm. we talk about respect, always mm. remember, do you respect yourself first? Mm. Okay. If you respect yourself, Right. And then you will not kowtow or bow down to anything that will influence your value. That's right. important. Mm. You know? I know this world is cruel and there's yeah. a lot of things, but 
believe me, I've gone through that. Right. Okay? I've gone through mm. things and it really helped. It's not a day or tomorrow you can overcome it. It yes. takes years. But when you practice and practice and practice, it's easier. It takes right. years. It's not a right. month or two. All right. So right, right, right. Um, to, to that particular individual, please uh, reach out, you know, call and, and, and get yourself connected so that there's a, a, a journey that you can go through. And there's a lot of things that we can see that what you are experiencing right now might be from your development stage. Right, you know, right. From early on. Today, yes, who we are today based on our development, our environment, our parents, and our DNA. So right. we have to track. So that's important. Right. Okay, so some initial steps they can take would be, I think, uh, one, as you said, you know, write down who you are. Yes. And get back your self-worth. That means even with a job or without a job or without money or whatever, first step is get back your self-worth, right? Yeah. Uh, and and uh, counselors can help you to see your self, help you to, for you to see your self-worth, right? Yes, yes. It's all okay. in you. That is why the journey is very important. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome um okay if you are going through something is it important to see someone about it if you're going through something probably something difficult is it important to see someone about it mm. yes. yes yes okay yes see someone about it it's always good to get a third party uh um what you call that engagement because mm -hmm. they look at it from a different perspective. Right. You know, if it's coming from a friend, they look mm -hmm. at it differently because right. it's always based on relationship that you have built over the years. Right. All right. So no matter how small, you know, sometimes people think that, oh, this must be a stupid question to ask or this right. is a stupid emotion to, to, to share with people, especially right. to strangers. But right. those emotions are valid. Are valid. Okay. Valid. So right. if you feel something is not right, something is not going towards what you want it, uh, it to be, so it's okay. always good to reach out. Mm. Yeah. And please, when you reach out, don't give uh, wrong information. You know, sometimes when we go to doctors, doctor yeah. asks, oh, how long have you had this fever? And they say, oh, only yeah. yesterday, but the how you got it like three, four yeah. days ago. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen this happening. Wrong yeah. diagnostic, so yes, when yes, you yes. go and reach out, don't right. give wrong information, ah, please, ah. Say it, it as it is. Yes, as it is. Okay? okay. Because if you give us wrong information, then right. the journey towards betterment and the journey towards um, improvement right. will not be achieved. Right. right. Yeah. So give accurate information. Like, at least it's yes. easier for them to yes. you know, make the diagnosis, right? Yes. And we understand that Sometimes it's difficult for you to mm. say it out immediately, you know, yeah. what you are exper experiencing and all that. We yeah. understand. So not to right. worry. Right. You can take your time. Maybe the first session you, you don't feel comfortable because you're still malu, you know, with all yeah. the stigma, what, what the counselor or the therapist think about me and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. have trained ourselves in a way where we understand all this. Right. And it's good that... Uh, just see what is actually you are feeling you know your emotion your thoughts your thinking everything yeah right okay so okay one more question okay we're going to close off soon okay. but if there are any more last few questions we'll answer them mm -hmm. uh that, what if i don't have friends to reach out when i'm going through something a stressful okay. situation or what what do i who do i reach out to Yes. So that is where we have the telling counseling, you know, the right. Befrienders, the Sneham, the Buddhist Association. Then now you have the Map Tech. Yes, yes. Right? Map yes. Tech for frontliners only. Uh, frontliners, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're overwhelmed already right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, too much. Even like for yeah. us, uh, coming, you know, we already given our names and all that yeah. for the mother counselors to, to have this engagement. Right, so right, right. you can do all this telling counseling, you know, you can yeah. Google. There's a few that it's online. You can you just, just reach out. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the answer for them is reach out again to yes. all this uh, counseling. Yes. Maybe later on, probably you can just drop in some of the links. If you can, the names, they can Google up themselves. Lah, right? Is, will that be okay? Yes. yes, yes. Okay. So let's finish up. Okay. Uh, okay. So today we have you here. Thanks a lot for sharing. I also like My to know, uh, you know, you have a company, right? So yes. maybe you can share a little bit more of what you do. Okay. Uh, so for the benefit of everyone here. Okay. So uh, I'm the founder of Emerging Journey Asia. Right. right? Okay. So okay. we are talent uh, development company. We look okay. into assessments. We do mental health, mm. uh, advocate development okay. awareness we also do a lot of team building communication mm -hmm. leadership so in the area of uh, talent development where we okay. put in psychology inside we put in psychology. a lot of, yes you know sometimes okay. it's just the base people go in and out conduct training or give yeah. workshop but if yeah. you don't inject this then right. a training will just be another training right Right. So that's how. Okay. Another thing that I would like uh, to share, uh, to to let the audience to know is that, okay. You see, no one can see COVID nineteen virus, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yet Interesting. People still, yep. people still being hospitalized. Yes. People die, right? Yes. And yeah. those who have stronger immune, they are the carrier. If if they have those virus inside of them. Yeah. So what I want to share is that the same goes to your mental well-being. You know, mm -hmm. you can't mm -hmm. see it, yes. right? But yeah. why do people have suicidal ideation? Why do people suicide? Mm. You mm. know, why mm. do people run amok? Why do right. things happen? You know, anxiety, right. depression, mm. and all these things. Mm -hmm. So we need yes. to understand, even though we don't see it, yeah. doesn't mean it's not there. Right. And I like this metaphor and I share it to my audience always. My participant right. is like, you know, a volcano? Yes. When will a volcano erupt? Mm, we don't know. We don't right. know, right? It can be yeah. 10, 20, 100 yes. years. Yeah. But during those timelines, they yeah. will give some signal, correct? Yes. There will be smoke coming out. Yes, yes, yes. Movement and yes. all. Yes, eruptions, minor yes. eruptions. Yes, the same goes to your mental health. It's right. With everything inside, you yeah. don't know when you're gonna erupt. Yeah. All right. Mm. So, but it will give you a certain signal, because mm -hmm. there are days where you just don't want to talk to people. You just want to sit down, you know, or someone says something, it will trigger you. Yes, and then you start an argument. Yes. So when you have that, it's good to write it down and go deeper. Right. And that's where therapists, counselors, psychologists, psychiatrists will help and assist you in getting mm. to the core of your issues. Because right. most of the time, whatever you present is just a surface. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. 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 Thanks for sharing so much. Pleasure. And Something that I really like, you know. I, I, sorry, <laughs> I can go on and on, but. You know. <laughs> It's good sharing though. It's very good sharing. So I think full of full of facts and full of uh, you know uh, examples. Um, also, I think uh, if people want to reach you for trainings in this area, uh, yes. can I share your LinkedIn and Facebook uh, yes. uh, connections here? Your your contact. Let me just change it and add it here. Okay, let me see. Okay, so this is correct. Uh, under Sangita call. Yes. Right? Okay. So yes. again, thank you very much. Thank you, you for know, having me. Super having you here. It was fun. And I think we we learned a lot of things and you know some good tips there. Okay. Uh, hope to see you again. Okay, so, so you have to do this. You have to do yes. reach out, speak out. Yeah. Okay, let's do speak it together. Out. Yeah. How again? Okay, reach out. Reach out. Speak out. Speak out. Okay, let's do it together. Yeah. One, two, three. Right. Reach, Reach out, out. Speak and out. Speak out. Yes. Am I showing okay. correctly? Yeah. Yes, that's the one. Because you okay. need to communicate. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. All right. All thank you very much. To all of you. Thank you so much. God thank bless. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.
拜。